Hi everyone, it's Stephanie Brown. I'm the director of the library at the School of Media and Journalism, and I'm going to talk to you about doing research for your MADC program. And you may wonder why you need to learn about the library. And the short answer is because finding quality research online is really hard. And you are gonna to need to do that for your MADC program. And what I'm going to do is teach you how to find really good material and save time and money. And to that end, I've created four tasks for you to complete. And these are going to simulate what you're going to do in research methods and beyond. The four tasks are, you're going to find the full text of four articles. You're going to watch five short videos that will explain some complex search options, which will really save you time. You're going to find articles for a literature review, which is exactly what you're going to be doing in Dr. Camello's class. And then you're going to chat with some of us at the Park Library, and we are going to help you get unstuck if you get stuck in any of the first three tasks. The deadline is before orientation on August 13th. Task number one, you are going to find two what we call known items. This is scenario one. You are going to find articles for um, your employer and uh, you're researching best practices for social media use during natural disasters. Your advisor suggested you read these two articles and I would like you to find the full text of them very quickly. You have a meeting tomorrow and you need to read them. So that's scenario one. You can look anywhere you want for these articles. You can look in Google, free and easy. On the other hand, it's overwhelming, lots of information. Same with Google Scholar, it's maybe a, a little bit smaller, but still can be overwhelming. And the articles are not necessarily free to you in Google or Google Scholar. EBSCO is a library resource that I'm gonna teach you how to use. It's my favorite. Um, it's free to you. It's not as intuitive, that's the downside. You do get more precise results and the articles are free to you through the UNC library. So that's why it's my favorite. All of these are available at a library portal that I've made for your class. Here's the URL. Here's what that page looks like. And if you scroll over here and down, you will see an option to search EBSCO and an option to search Google Scholar through UNC. Task number two is to watch these five short videos. Total, it's about 11 minutes, and they are going to explain some complex library tips and tricks that I'd really like you to know how to do. Task number three is to find some articles on your same topic. You're still doing social media use during natural disasters. And the scenario here is that you're doing a literature review on the topic and you need to find four scholarly articles, one each, one experiment, one interview, one survey, and one case study. You can use Google or EBSCO. I recommend EBSCO, but I know a lot of people like a, a Google Scholar. When you find the articles, use EBSCO or Google Scholar or your own uh, uh, knowledge or experience to save the articles for orientation. In EBSCO, that's library hack number three, the video. Uh, reformat the articles that you found in APA format. You'll need to do this for your literature review. That's library hack number four to do that in EBSCO. And if the full text isn't available, how would you obtain it? That's library hack number six. Do take notes. You're not gonna remember all the stuff that you've done. And I wanna talk about this in orientation to really give you a good grounding in how to do this. So do take notes. Here's a little bit about what EBSCO looks like if you've never seen it before. Here I've done a search for product placement and television or movies. So I put my search terms up there. I did a search and I got 2,500 results. It's kind of overwhelming. Your task is to limit these to scholarly articles. 
So you click over here, limit to scholarly articles, and now there are 450 articles. If you want to read the full text, you can click on the PDF full text. But if the PDF isn't there, click on the Find at UNC button. We'll talk about all this in class, but I wanted to give you a quick overview on how to do this. The fourth thing is to chat with me or one of my staff in the Park Library. And the way you do that is by clicking on the Chat Now button. And that will connect you with me or one of my two grad students, Julie and Lauren. And they are SILS grad students. They want to be librarians. So they are going to practice with you and you're going to practice with them. And what you're going to talk about, first of all, tell us your name and that you're in the MADC program. Um, tell us how you found the articles in search scenario one, how you found the full text. If you didn't find the, the articles, no problem. We'll help you find them. Uh, no judgment in libraries. We want you to do the work and we want to help make that as easy as possible. You can also ask us any questions about the search scenarios or the videos. When we are available is often 9 to 4, Monday through Friday. We're always around then. Uh, I am often available uh, evenings and weekends. And if this chat now option is available, then you can uh, go ahead and chat me. Why do I want you to do this now? Because I want this is such an easy, supportive, helpful uh, service that I want you to know how to do it later when you have a question. Here's some notes from a former MATC student. Helpful, helpful, helpful is the point. She just graduated. So yay for her. Um, next up for you is orientation on August 13th. We'll go over these exercises. I'll show you how to find articles that aren't online. I'll show you how to manage articles that you want to save and reformat. And I'll also show you how to get UNC library books delivered to your home, unless you live in Chapel Hill or Cargo. We'll talk about that too. Um, plan your calendars on Sunday, September 16th. We're going to have an online workshop to help you find sources for your lit review. This is going to be synchronous. If you can join us, that's great. If not, I will ask you to watch the recording. Dr. Camella wants you all to meet with me in small groups later that week for uh, help with your literature review. And I will require you to have either attended or watched the recording before you meet with me. And if you stuck with me this far, here's a little bonus. We have access to the New York Times free for all UNC students. The URL is at the top of this page that tells you how, where to go and how to register. And you can watch the New York Times for free at no charge. So thanks for sticking with me through this uh, little orientation. I look forward to seeing you on August 13th.